Hey, welcome back. And this video is going to start our series on our laundry room makeover. The first thing we need to do is we got to paint these ugly blue cabinets. Okay, jumping right into things, first step here is disassembly. We've got to get each of these cabinet doors off and lined up so we can get ready for the next step in this process. Using 220 grit and my wife's handy dandy DeWalt palm sander, we're going to sand these rails and styles down so that we can get a smooth finish. Now, in lieu of sanding, you could use a product like this to degloss the paint and skip the aggravating sanding part. And as you can tell so far, I was a little too lazy to move the freezer and unload the cabinets when I started this project. I was just trying to get it over with and to be honest with you I didn't really want to move a lot of this stuff so you have to take that in consideration when you start a project like this. I 
so while I'm trying to be cute here, there's something I really need to tell you. We decided to use paint that we already had on hand and it wasn't cabinet paint. It was a latex, white latex glidden paint. And I'm gonna suggest that you do your research on the paint you use for the cabinets. These are just multi-purpose cabinets in a laundry room. They're not anything special. So we didn't go with anything expensive. We just wanted to use what we had on hand. I highly suggest an enamel type cabinet paint that'll be more durable and doesn't stick when you open and close the doors. It has that little sticky feel to it. But overall, this is a decent project with this type of paint. But I will suggest that you don't use Glidden. Unfortunately, it is a terrible paint now, and this stuff was like painting with water. Let me just say it like this, five coats of brushing and rolling on paint on the rails, styles, and doors to complete this project. I suggest using a very good quality paint when you do this so that you get excellent coverage. You've been warned. All right, before I get any flack on this part of the video, yes, we're rolling the cabinets with latex paint. This is a laundry room cabinet. This is not a show-stopping cabinet project. These things were just some kind of eggshell blue, and we didn't want it anymore. I had the paint sitting in my shop. My wife wanted to do this project really quickly because she was tired of looking at the blue cabinets. So we did it that way. They're now white. They now serve the purpose that they were intended to do. Yes, I know it's latex. Yes, I know how to paint cabinets. I've done many cabinet painting jobs with cabinet type paint, lacquer, enamel, those types of things. So give me a break. This is what we did. And now you get to see the finished product. It still serves the same purpose and we're super proud of it. I hope you find something useful out of this. Again, please, please, please pay attention to the paint you use. Specifically, don't use Glidden. I'm not trying to dog them too bad, but this stuff was terrible. I've never seen paint go on this bad. We actually, in between what you saw here painting-wise, we actually on the doors went back and used kilts between coats just to get the blue covered up so that we could use the Glidden on top. And the Glidden was a paint and primer in one, so if that tells you anything. Make sure you stay tuned to the next video because I'm replacing that ugly countertop you see there with something really cool looking. I think you guys will really like it. So make sure you stick around for that. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit the round subscribe button now and watch these other couple of videos on our super custom kitchen island that we've been doing and make sure you get your free plans from that. Again, thanks for watching. See you next time.